Hey, Nathan here. Welcome back to another Flocking Artificial Intelligence video. And in this video, we are going to discuss separation, the algorithm behind separation. So last video, we discussed the concepts behind separation, and it was pretty complex with the mathematics and the whole idea behind it. And the reason it was complex is because we added a scalar to occur whenever we are getting closer to the entity, the more intense the push will be to separate them. Just like with the cohesion algorithm video, I have coded the basics. I have adjusted some of the positioning of the entities. In the concept video, we had an entity at 11, comma 19 and another entity at 23 comma 32 I have changed those values to make it look a little bit nicer in the game the same idea is still there in that we have two entities and they are close to each other okay so let's go ahead and discuss the algorithm so I've already generated the method for separation. It will return the force vector, which is a vector 2, and it accepts an entity, entity. Okay. We need to we need to loop through each entity in the flock. So for each entity e in entity dot flock dot entities. Remember, the entity has a reference to the flock that it is a member of. Now, the flock has a list of every entity in the flock. So we're looping through every entity in the flock. We need to check to make sure the entity we are investigating is not ourself. If E does not equal to entity, so we are not looking at ourselves, we can proceed with the algorithm. So the first thing we want to see is if one of the entities is within the separation distance of ourself. Now we can use the distance squared here because we just want to see if one is less than another. We do not care about the value just yet. All we care about is one is less than another. So if vector 2.distance squared E dot position, comma, entity dot position. So if the distance squared is less than entity dot separation distance, separation distance is squared in the entity. So if the distance squared is less than the separation distance, that means we are too close to the entity. Calculate the heading vector between the source entity and its neighbor. So vector 2 dot heading vector is equal to entity dot position minus e dot position. Remember, going back to the concept video, we use ourself first because that will give us a 180 degree vector from the entity position. It's the optimal vector pointing away from the entity. Okay, now we need to calculate the scale. Heading vector 
dot length will give us the distance between the entities. So all we need to do is float scale is equal to heading vector dot length. Let me bring this up here, right, right there. So heading vector dot length divided by, we need to cast a float here, math dot square root entity dot separation distance. Separation distance is a squared value in the entity class. So we have to square root that and we need to cast that as a float. So the scale is the heading vector's length divided by the square root of the separation distance. The closer we are, the more intense the force vector will be. It'll be scaled. So what we need to do is calculate the force vector is equal to vector 2 dot normalize. We need to normalize the heading vector first. So once that vector is normalized, we need to divide it by the scale and that will give us the intense push we are looking for. So this is the algorithm. Now if you're not understanding what's going on here, I explained it a little bit here, but go watch the concept video. It's about a 15, 10 to 15 minute video that just discusses the concepts and we discussed the mathematics behind it as well. So separation, we first need to see if the distance is within the separation distance. That means if the entity we are investigating is too close to ourself. If it is, we need to calculate a heading vector that is a 180 degrees from the entity we are investigating. We do that by having entity that position, our position, subtract that from the entity we are investigating, their position. We calculate the scale value by having the distance between the two entities divided by the separation distance, the square root of the separation distance. Finally, we need to normalize the heading vector and divide the scale value in order to give us that intense push. All right, so let's press F5 and let's run the code. Now, it initially pushed the values. I've set this up in a way where in a few seconds it will do another round of separation. A few more seconds, we'll see the separation happen again. Did you see that? Let me close this and start it again. Let me move this into focus here. So it will immediately kick in right there. Separation kicked in. They moved away at 180 degrees. And right here, a few seconds, it will happen again. And it happened again just there, but not as much. So separation will only kick in if the entities are too close to each other. Right here, it'll be an immediate 180 degree difference because there is no velocity currently. They are 180 degrees apart. Now it'll happen one more time in a few seconds and then it will quit. So that is the algorithm for separation. Next video, we will discuss alignment. And alignment is one of the easiest steering behaviors we will encounter. All we need to do is average the velocities and normalize that vector. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.